YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and today we're putting up the Galaxy Note 10 Plus versus the OnePlus 7 Pro. Both phones are seen as the top of the line for Android, and I've been super excited about putting these up head to head. The OnePlus 7 Pro 12 gigabyte version retails for $749, and it also includes 256 gigabytes of storage. The Note 10 Plus comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 512 storage, and this retails for $1,200. How do these phones compare side by side when you put them up head to head? Well, that's my job. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja, and let's battle. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja, and let's battle these phones. Just last week, I ran a raw speed test between the two, and shockingly enough, they're exactly the same speeds once you remove animations but we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. These phones also share a lot of the same specs as well, but yet the experience using the phone to me are completely different. They feel like completely different phones from the build, design, and just overall how they run. In the hand, the Note 10 Plus and the OnePlus 7 Pro are both rather large. I have pretty big hands, but even both phones are two-handed devices. The OnePlus 7 Pro curves a bit more, and for me, ends up being more comfortable. Many people really don't care for the curves on any of these phones, so of course what I have to say is completely subjective. Both phones push the limit of the screen to body ratio. For me, I like the look of the OnePlus 7 Pro better than the Note 10 Plus. The Note 10 Plus looks really good, don't get me wrong, but the glossy back really is a fingerprint magnet, it is extremely slippery, whereas the OnePlus 7 Pro does have that same thing sort of, but it doesn't get as fingerprint heavy, and also it's not as slippery. So both phones come in some pretty cool colors. This Aurora on the Note 10 looks great, but the problem is it gets fingerprints so often. My sponsor dbrand has something to say about that. A dbrand skin can protect your phone from fingerprints and also it makes it a little bit easier to hold, especially if you rock it without a case. Also, you can change the color and get yourself a unique looking device for less than $20. Hit the link down below to dbrand your device. Also, the all screen design where you don't have a front facing camera at all, it slides out from the bezel of the phone. I think that is impressive. So for me, design, OnePlus 7 Pro wins. The Note 10 also is something we've seen before from Samsung. Of course, it just gets a little bit better each iteration, but they're being very safe as far as not changing the design up at all. And it's just kind of starting to get tired. We've seen this design for about four years now. Let's move over to camera. Both of these phones have an impressive array when it comes to cameras. Now I'm gonna put technical information of each cameras on the sidebar for you to take a look at but I don't wanna bore you with stats. I'm gonna talk about my experience using these two cameras. The OnePlus 7 Pro has a two camera setup on the back. One gives you a standard focal length and the other one is a telephoto shot. It has optical image stabilization as well. The Note 10 Plus has an ultra wide angle, a wide angle and telephoto lens setup. For me, the OnePlus 7 Pro camera has actually gotten better over time. It's still not the most impressive camera out there but since the updates came out, it's becoming better and better. I still think it's behind what Samsung is offering with the Galaxy Note 10 and pretty much any Samsung phone last couple of years. But when it comes to this camera in lower light situations, Samsung falls behind many of the competition. Well, the Note 10 does make up at is that additional focal length, of course, and then you have these camera modes. And these camera modes are really good. They're not just a big gimmick. They're actually fantastic. And if you utilize each camera mode, you can really get some unique shots and some unique angles and utilizing the phone the way it was meant to be. The OnePlus 7 Pro does have camera modes as well, but not as unique as Samsung. And a lot of them are just dated and the camera isn't really that great in the first place. But we bring these cameras into lower light situations like inside of a house that's not well lit then both cameras start to look pretty much the same. Samsung color just falls apart very fast and the image looks extremely soft, whereas the OnePlus 7 is pretty consistent and ends up looking almost better than Samsung. But where Samsung blows OnePlus out of the water is gonna be the video modes. The Note 10 Plus stabilization sets the bar on mobile. 
Also, the audio recording is great too. Hey, what's up guys? This is the front facing camera with the live focus for video. I think this glitch effect is really cool because the edges look really, really good because it doesn't have to be so precise because it has this sort of glitch thing. And I think it does a great job with the foreground and background. And I think that this glitch effect is actually really, really cool. And I really like looking at it. Um, I just think it has a really nice effect. The Note 10 is just an overall great video camera. Um, but once again, as long as you're in great lighting, if you're outside, it's really impressive. It does a great job with clouds and HDR. It's just a fantastic camera to use for video. And it also has the live focus mode in video. So you can separate the foreground and background with some pretty cool video effects. And it does a great job in a live scenario. Of course, no camera is perfect. There's both th there's things that both phones do well and, and not so well. And I discussed that with OnePlus in a, in a standalone video and Samsung, I'll talk about that in my review. Performance. Now this one is gonna be a toss up between these two devices as they have pretty much the same internals and I've done that speed test that I posted on this channel already. Instead of rehashing that whole video, I'll give you some highlights. So Samsung made the fingerprint scanner better than on the Galaxy S10, but it's still nowhere near as good as the OnePlus 7 Pro. I was able to get into the OnePlus 7 Pro faster over a second when I did it 10 times in a row on both phones. I still have issues finding the hotspot even after having the Note for a couple of weeks now, I still have issues finding that hotspot and getting it just right. Whereas the OnePlus 7 Pro is just consistent and it's instant. Now when it comes to launching apps and you have the transitions on by default, then the OnePlus 7 Pro is faster than the Note 10 Plus. But once you turn off animations and it's an even playing field, they're exactly the same speed. So that's really good because OnePlus actually is to me the fastest phone on Android and obviously the Note keeps up with it. So the Note must be the fastest phone on Android too. But it's perception. And there's something that OnePlus does that many other phones don't do and that really adds to the smoothness. And that leads us to its screen. The display on the OnePlus 7 Pro is using 90 Hertz. So that means everything is just smoother and everything feels faster. Even though the phones are the same speed, the phone that feels the fastest, you're gonna think is actually the fastest. Now both screens are great as far as technology, AMOLED display, and you have those really deep blacks and very good colors. And you even have color profiles where you can change the colors on each screen. Um, the Note 10 just to me is a higher quality of image when you're you know, comparing a video side by side in painstaking detail and really looking at it. The Note is almost a flawless screen, but I'll take 90 Hertz over a flawless screen any day. So this leads us to features of the phone. Which phone is more featured packed? Which phone has better features? And this is where the experience becomes completely different. OnePlus isn't a feature phone. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of little settings and tweaks, sure, but it's really made to be a light phone. It gives you Android with a lot of tweaks in the background that can help you customize your experience. Whereas the Note is full of features. You have the S Pen that's that's a pen that has applications within it. You can export to Microsoft Word. You can do a lot of extra things and it plays into the camera. You control the camera with the S Pen. You can do a lot of things with the S Pen. It's, it's a lot of extra features on this phone, whereas OnePlus is not about that. OnePlus is about giving you a lighter experience. So for that, I would have to say Samsung has more features, but maybe OnePlus not giving you a lot of features is a feature. That right there might be a toss up. Overall, both phones you can't go wrong. When you factor in the out the door pricing, the OnePlus 7 Pro is extremely tough to pass up. If you think you'll take advantage of the S Pen and you want a better camera, then find a way to take advantage of the aggressive trade-ins that Samsung has and trade in a phone and get you the Note 10 Plus for pretty cheap. As always, OnePlus is always pushing out updates. As I said, the camera is a lot better than day one, but OnePlus also releases a new phone every six months, whereas Samsung, if you buy the Note today, this would be the only Note for the next year. They'll have the S line too, but Samsung is on a yearly cycle for their Note and S line. Each phone is in the spotlight for a year. So that's something to consider, something to think about. But as far as updates, Samsung has gotten better, but it's nowhere near what OnePlus is doing with their updates. Anyways, guys, what do you think? What's your opinion? Let me know. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.